it's Stephanie here from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. Today's tutorial is bringing me back to my childhood, but like, it has nothing to do with childhood. But it does have to do with snap bracelets. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, let's, let's roll the intro because I want to show you this project. It's going to be so much fun. to another tutorial I know I'm like stinking excited I'm sorry like I gotta pull it in but I can't like I like I can't tell you how many times I've already done this I love these so much but they're kind of upgraded these silicone bracelets we'll talk about it in a second anyway so today's tutorial all about a what's the word corsage <laughs> a wrist corsage <laughs> using a snap bracelet all right I gotta stop hitting my wrist and uh, let's jump into this tutorial For this tutorial, you are going to need some greenery, bits and bobs, a slap, snap, bracelet. These are silicone um, wrapped, doesn't matter, I don't know, but that's all I could find. Some ribbon, yarn, string, something. You want something felt to cover this because this is silicone, so nothing. we can't put glue on there. And then, of course, some lovely solo wood flowers, you want to go with smaller sizes, probably around one to two, two and a half inches at the most. I would not probably go with a three inch flower, but what do I know? If you want a three inch flower, you do you, boo. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to wrap our silicone bracelet. We don't have to wrap it all the way through. We're just going to um, concentrate on the center of this. Again, you can use other items to wrap the bracelet. We're just trying to create a base. So you can go, I have a, I'm gonna cut that off. You could go with embroidery uh, thread. You can go with a uh, ribbon. You can go with yarn. You could go with felt. I feel like I'm saying like, you know that part in Forrest Gump where all he talks about is gumbo? That's what I feel like at this moment. But that, that's it. So just a little bit, wrap it around, and then we're gonna cut off however you wanna finish that off. And actually, I just messed up because I didn't give myself enough. All right, there we go. And now it's too long, it's fine, details, details. But we're just going to bring that through and then glue that in place. And I'm gonna use this as my base because it's, it's, a, little, it's a little tall. I'm gonna use that as my base for where the flowers are gonna go. I don't know what's going on, but Vikram is drooling a lot. If you haven't met, here's Vikram, my glue gun. A long and odd story on how he got his name, but he is Vikram. So, bits and bobs of our greenery is what we're gonna use, technical term. It is, I say it is, therefore it is. So, we're going to just cut off a couple little pieces throughout. I'm going to do a little bit of a mirror effect right now. I'm going to hold on to these other little pieces because we're probably going to, I know we are, we're going to slide those little guys in in just a minute. Just kind of giving myself an idea of where I want everything to go. I also have these like little cream berries, a piece of laurel. I'm going to cut this down though into smaller pieces and we'll use this in multiple different ways as well. We might, yeah. We'll put that in place right now. I think that's good. Okay, all right. Let's get that glued into place and keep on building. Ooh, this one's gonna go underneath into some of the layers of ribbon. That wasn't planned when I made the tallest ribbon tower possible, but it's gonna work. So we're gonna work with what we got. And this is gonna work really well for that. All 
I, for whatever reason, seem to like three flowers for my boutonniere, or boutonniere, oh my God, words, words are hard. My corsages, my corsages, I like three flowers. I don't know why, I couldn't tell you. It has always been what I am drawn to do. And I always put like my bigger center kind of flower off to the side also. Don't know why, <laughs> just is what happens. And then I kind of angle the rest of them. It's just how I like to do things. If you don't though, you don't have to, it's okay. Whatever makes you happy, makes me happy. I'm kind of just, let's see if I can, I ripped that petal, it's okay. This flower's gonna, I'm gonna just take that right off. This flower is gonna hide that. And then this flower, I'm gonna scoot right in there. It's gonna be a short tutorial, but I'm having technical difficulties today. I also feel like my fingers just got very close to hot glue and I should be a little bit more careful with what I'm doing. I'm too reckless today. I don't know why, but I'm being very reckless with my hot glue placement and hands and all that stuff. Okay, so here we're at. Let's bring you guys up for a second. I'll show you how it's on my arm and then what we're gonna do to finish it off. Okay, so it is on my arm now and when I'm looking, this opens up a little bit. So we're definitely going to want to pop some greenery in there to finish that off. I also, underneath here, now it's gonna depend on which side you're gonna, if you want the little peony going out to everybody else, or if you wanna look at the peony, then you're gonna flip it around the other way. But I do have a little bit of a gap there too, so I'm gonna probably, well, oh, that glue's still hot, shoot. See, I'm being reckless, reckless. I might grab though a little sprig of this other greenery that we're playing with. That's too much. And bring that on in there instead. And normally I wouldn't be gluing and putting stuff in while it's on my arm, but I just wanna see the placement. Yeah, I like that a lot better. So I'm gonna do that. And then we also have the little flower bits we're gonna add in there too. So let's bring you guys back down and we'll, I think right here too, and we'll finish this off. I'm gonna put glue on the end of my greenery for these and just kind of slide that on in so that it catches onto something. Sometimes these thinner pieces of plastic, they'll start to melt when they get hot, so you wanna be a little bit quick with them so that they don't just kinda of disintegrate on you. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. I don't think, I'm not loving this right here where those two flowers are kinda of budding up against each other. So, I think I might just take yeah, a little piece of greenery. Slide that on in to cover that seam. We're gonna call it a seam, that's what that is. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add in those last little bits of teeny tiny little flowers just for one little extra pop of color. And I lied, I think we're gonna pop one of these up here too. Yep, we are. I'm gonna get that in place, scoop that in. All right, I'm gonna trim these down because they don't need to be that long. I like so. I think, I think, I think we're good. All right, let's put it back on and, and see how it is. Moment of truth, I tend to like get really excited about these and slap it too hard, so I'm gonna go gentle. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay, there we go. All right, so my one little bit, I didn't glue in well enough, so that came undone, but no biggie. I'm just gonna pop her in place. I know I said I wasn't gonna glue stuff while it's on my arm. Do as I say, or do what I, not as I do, yeah, okay? Don't put the glue on while you're putting it on your wrist, but it's fine, I survived. So there's that one. You could also wear it the other way. Just kind of depends on which flower you want to see and which ones you want to share with the rest of the world. 
So there's that. And here again, like I said, I like to put for some reason the, a big flower on the side and the little ones flanking it. Now this one in particular, I love this one so much. A ranuncula, a pansy that is from a hydrangea bloom, and then a teeny tiny little American Beauty. Um, so this one's all like, I think this is a two inch at the most, and the other ones are one inch flowers, one and a half maybe. And just this lovely, like, I love them so much. So I need to say a big thank you to the customer that requested this tutorial. Um, she knows who she is. Uh, hopefully this inspires her as well as the rest of you. I now have more than I have arms. So that's fun. I'm gonna wear them to the grocery store. That's that's the plan, because I don't have a wedding shirt. <laughs> I can put them all over my arm. It also is nice, these slap bracelets, because I have a thick wrist. And so now, ooh, look at the floral arms coming at you. Um, I love these so much. So stinking much. Um, you can find these slap bracelets over on Amazon. I think they say children's size, but don't let that fool you. They'll They'll fit a good thick wrist. <laughs> if that's what you have. I feel you, girl, if you do. All right, oh, I know it's a little extra, but look at, you can wear an entire bouquet on your arm. Like, who wouldn't, I mean, I'm sure lots of people wouldn't, but why wouldn't you? Like, it's so pretty. It's just so pretty. I hope you guys are loving these tutorials. If you are, make sure to subscribe and Ring that bell to find out about the 150 style solo wood flowers along with craft supplies and greenery. Go to ohyourlovely.com. And if you're new around here, want to give the flowers a try, use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off your first order. All right, guys, that's all I got. Have a lovely day. We'll see you super soon. This is Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely. And you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.